Let's welcome to our virtual stage, We Robot. Hello, everyone. Thanks for, for having us here. This is Chris George. And this is Bill Arnett. What was I pointing at? I was pointing at my screen. Yeah. And I should be pointing. I'm pointing where you are on my screen, which I don't know if that's where you are on everyone else's screen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice doing, to be Bill? here, everybody. Thanks to the Inner City Improv Festival for having us and having the jam. Hope everybody's having a good time. Uh, in the green room, give me 30 seconds here. I adjust my volume. <laughs> in the green room, Chris and I were talking about uh, music, uh, uh, primarily rock and roll music, but that's fine. Uh, Chris, I have a question for you. I did not get to ask. Sure. What is the first band for whom you owned all of their music? You bought all their tapes or all their albums? Oh, all all of their music. What, mo, the, 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 when I was in junior high, I probably sure. owned 85% of the Led Zeppelin catalog. Okay. You know, as an example, as an example. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, for me, it was probably in college and like I'm a big ska fan. So it was probably... Sure. Um, offhand like probably maybe mustard plug or real big fish was probably like the first one that like i owned the majority of oh i mean i say owned <laughs> they were all mp3s at that point uh that i had downloaded off a of napster but oh, i okay. owned them <laughs> <laughs> okay i i missed napster uh, uh uh yeah it was great man i tell you what uh you must have been in the heyday in college of napster oh my gosh it, it launched like right before freshman year for don't me don't you love it how all the metadata is wrong and you gotta like oh. fix it uh, I cannot tell you, and I don't know if the same thing is true for you as it was for me, how much time I have spent over my lifetime fixing or arranging or organizing or finding the album cover art for various MP3s, et cetera, et cetera, that I have done. Oh, yes. That are now all over the place. I think I've got yeah, enough yeah. for our show. Yeah, that's, that feels like plenty. Uh, but yeah, yeah. This is We Robot, and this is going to be about something there. <laughs> something you heard in that moment. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Brian. Yeah. Hey, just the RA coming by to check on you. Cool. Okay. We're just uh, putting some tunes on. Cool. So cool. I got some vinyls. I got some seventy eights. Nice. Hey, don't right. forget, quiet hours start at ten. So. We'll we'll be done before that. Do okay. you want to come in and listen or? Uh... Uh, oh no 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 no! I got to do my rounds. Got to get around it. Check out sure? everybody. We got some really old stuff here. Like really old stuff. Cool. Know? Nice little zip. Oh, not 1978. 78 RPMs. <laughs> so, oh. Okay. You know, all right. So, all right. Like, nice. Like, you know, old Dixieland when it was new, you know. So you're you're listening to Dixieland jazz yeah. here? Well, you know, Dixieland, big band before it was called Big Band, you know. Yeah. Are you a are you a music major? No, it doesn't say you're a music major. No, I'm a literature major. Okay. Okay. Probably poetry. I don't know. I'm a sophomore. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of time to figure it out. Come on Let's in. Get... Come on huh? in. Well, I, I got to do my rounds. I got. I mean, I got to you know, got to meet everybody and got to make sure everyone's getting settled in. How do you feel about Big Spiderbeck? I don't even know. I don't even know what you just said to me. Uh, a coronet player, the greatest coronet player of the 20s <laughs> before Louis Armstrong came along. I, I'm going to let you borrow this set of eight 78s, which are 20 minutes of music. I don't have a 78 player in my room. Whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a 78 player, uh, man. I, uh, you just I got, got an LP, you just got 33 and a 40, 45s? I got a disc man and... Um, Uh, I think the boombox my parents loaned me has like a, a cassette deck on it. So if you got a got a tape, if uh, Spider Spider Man Beck has uh, has you got a tape of Spider Man Beck, I, I'll borrow that off you. When I came to college, I thought finally, finally, I would be surrounded by people who are cool and who get it and who understand culture and understand these kinds of things, okay? Hey, Brian, Brian, I am cool. I am good. Have you seen the front of my door? 
favorite movie amelie all right uh uh, uh favorite uh album the taylor swift folklore i'm way cool man i'm way cool this ain't gonna work this ain't this ain't gonna work this ain't gonna work this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work was it, was it, brian are you like it's first week of school man yeah yeah just i need a new ra i need a new ra <laughs> Good luck. I put that request O in O. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can hey, uh, you look hungry. Uh, you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're having a soft open. Soft open on the restaurant here. Oh. Do you want some free lunch? Free lunch. I don't know if you're a working man. You, how, how much time you got, but you're doing a soft open. You want to come on in? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm waiting for a bus or whatever, but I, I probably, I got like, I'm not, I got like half an hour, so. Perfect, 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 perfect. How do you feel about fried chicken? I love fried chicken. How do you feel about soft serve ice cream? Um, you know, okay on soft serve ice cream, but I don't, I don't hate it. How do you feel about them together? Like fried chicken and have soft serve ice cream? Yeah, sure. I'll eat both of like those in the same. Soft serve ice cream on fried chicken. Soft served ice cream on fried chicken? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I never had it before, but I won't say no to it. There we go. Come on in. Come on in. All right, cool. Excuse the mess. Again, this is just a soft yeah. open. We're no just worries. Together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, Wait, this is your place? I, I'm, I'm the maitre d'. Myself cool. and my business partner, who is in the kitchen. I'm the front of the house. He's the back of the house. And right. uh, we hope to open here. Uh, cool chicken. That's the name of the place. Ice cream and chicken, cool chicken. Yeah, feel free to grab a seat. Now we we're gonna pick the menu. We're gonna pick the menu. Hope that's all right. We're gonna pick again. the menu. We're, we're the restaurant's picking the menu. We'll, 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 picking we'll, the menu. Okay, we're just gonna great. bring food out. But like great. I said, great. Welcome to Cool Chicken. Yeah, thank you. Feel free to grab a seat and get this first plate out here. Yeah, I, I work at the dental place across the street, so you know, I've been seeing this place empty, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what's gonna be in there. Cool chicken's gonna be here. This first plate is a little uh, fried calamari, both rings and tentacles. I hope you like uh -huh. it. And there is a scoop of lime sherbet on the top. <laughs> yeah, that's lime sherbet, all right. It's lime sherbet and calamari. Yeah. You know, a lot of times it's served with a lemon wedge. This is served with a lime a wedge of lime sherbet. Yeah, I mean, you don't really eat the whole lemon wedge. You usually just like a little, little squeezer, a little squeezer on it on there. You see, we've deconstructed it and reconstructed it. That's what that is. I'll let you enjoy that. I'll yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the heck. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna and enjoy a it. comment card here. Feel free to just fill, fill us out as we're going along. I'll wait till and, the oh, end. That'd be great. It'd be really I'll wait. Us. I'll wait till the end. Not a big deal. So weird. Calabrian. Lime here we go. Mm, we got a we're... slider trio. Okay, cool. Uh, ground lamb, ground Kobe beef, and a pork slider. Yeah. Oh, yum. Oh, the, I the love ground it. lamb has I a really scoop of chocolate ice cream. The Kobe beef slider has a scoop of uh, vanilla mousse, and the pulled pork slider has a little piece of cherry pie right on top. Enjoy yeah, it. Fill the comment card. Great. I'll, I'll eat everything first before I fill out. I, I, which, I just want to see which one you try first. I see which one grabs your fancy. It's like, I got to. I got to do the pulled pork on the cherry pie. I'm gonna, that's the one that like immediately that's, leaps out to me. That's me too. Me too. It tastes <laughs> like pulled pork in cherry pie. There's a lot of flavor. There's like a lot of flavors in, mm, man. Guy Fieri would be flipping his lid. What is it? The, what's the barbecue sauce? That a, like an Alabama barbecue sauce, like a mustard sauce? It is mustard and mayonnaise. Oh God. Okay. Um, that, and there's a little drizzle over top, over top of the cherry pie as well. Yeah. Okay. I, I got that. It's a very. So you're, you're in flavor country. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm okay. I'm going to try this. Um, this, uh, this Kobe one, I guess. I'll be right back with your next course. Oh, Jesus Christ, these courses are coming so fast. <laughs> oh, God. 
I hope you're not disappointed. Oh, hey. Hope you're not disappointed. Um, we disappointed got some, would not be a word I would use to describe what I'm feeling. We have uh, some chicken. This is cool chicken. Cool chicken, great, um, cool. The, and this is a, a, uh, uh, a deep fried chicken breast, thick, extra thick, double thick uh, batter coating. A little bit nice. Cool. Sad news. This is, again, soft open. Things are going to happen. We didn't have any soft serve ice cream. So there is a That's scoop. Okay. There is a scoop of uh, mashed potatoes. That's okay. That's okay. That's great. With a uh, gravy, with a peppery chicken gravy. Oh my gosh! Okay. Kind of a southern style, you know, like a, like an original recipe, very peppery, you know. Oh my god! This is outstanding. Well, I mean, this is the without, best thing. This is the just best. Imagine thing. this with soft serve ice cream on top. Mm, I. I really, I wouldn't like, honestly, this is the best thing that you've brought me. So far. I mean, this is like real mashed potatoes with like the skins in them. It's, it's yeah. a little buttery. It's got good garlic, uh, yeah. really digging those flavors. The fried chicken is amazing. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I wouldn't change this for anything. What you're telling me is we got a great foundation. Yeah, I'm telling you, you we have got a great, great foundation to you have put a great finished house. You have a swirl a house of chocolate vanilla swirl right on top That's you what have doing. a foundation walls and a roof this is this is done this is a completed meal well again it's a great place to start i mean may, maybe throw a piece of cornbread or something and that and that might be it that, that might be the most i would do Are i'm you beginning okay? to feel like you don't think there should be a swirl of soft serve ice cream on top of that. I'm going to be honest. You've that, that's me, what I'm feeling from you. Okay, uh, it's it's not just a feeling. I'm I, I'm trying to be nice. You're giving me a free meal, and I really do appreciate it. I of what you've brought me, the things with the ice cream on them, they don't work. Give me your give me your your, your survey. Give, give, where's your 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 comment card? You haven't I haven't filled it out yet. I haven't filled, I, I told you I was going to fill it out at the end. You're lying. You've already filled. You filled that with bad things, and I you don't fill out anything. How they? You you bring your meals out. Hey, this thing. I haven't done anything. You've been bringing the meals out so fast. No comments. I I haven't filled a thing out. Look here, give it to me. I'll fill out a comment right now. My comment right. is, just do the fried chicken and mashed potatoes. There you go. To do that. We've already bought the sign that says "Cool Chicken." That's fine. You cool place, cool chicken. Still just serve ice cream. Why cool? You know, but, uh, serve ice cream and serve fried chicken. Don't put them on the same plate. But they just it won't be it won't make sense anymore. Wait, I, you have ice cream. You have fried chicken. How is that not going to make sense? Well, the chicken is spelled like it, it's the, the letters are look like they're deep fried, and then the cool is in a swirl on top. I, you have described nothing that's going to sink you being able to have ice cream and fried chicken in the same restaurant. Look, can you tell the difference between vanilla ice cream and mashed potatoes? Yes. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, everybody can. And they see that sign, they're gonna say, that's not a swirl of mashed potatoes. That's a swirl of ice cream. Yeah, I, well, I don't think we're arguing about the sign. It makes a promise. It makes <laughs> it a promise. It doesn't. If, if, I, if I was like, hey, uh, do you want to go somewhere and have? You know, I'm trying to piece together an analogy here on the fly and I'll have. Uh, uh, I'll uh, hmm? uh, 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 I'll have uh, 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 hot ice cream. Would you be like, mm, yum? It will definitely be ice cream, and also that ice cream will be hot. Chi Chi's fried ice cream. Okay, but the fried ice cream is not. It's not hot. It's crunchy. It's crunchy ice cream. Look, okay. I've offended you. I hope you. you enjoyed your lunch. It was compliment. It was all in the house. Please take a moment for the compliment. Uh, I'm going to take this fried chicken to go because this fried chicken is authentically. We don't have Deco containers. I'm going to, well, I'm going to eat it here. I'm just going to eat it here. I still got 20 minutes. That's okay. Enjoy your, enjoy, enjoy your food. I am enjoying it. you doing right now? I want you to do you and get this money. I'm inviting you to play black. They're doing school announcements again? Oh, I hope not. I hope not. 
hope not. I didn't understand that. Yeah. Maybe they'll do it again. Man, if they cancel football practice again, I swear to God! T-Bone, bring it down, okay? Sorry. They're not going to cancel football practice, all right? Oh, man, I really dented Jessica Sturvis's locker. Bet you wish you could have dented Jessica Sturvis's face. No. What do you think I was going to say? But... You, no one told you. No one told me what? <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Sturvis? Yeah, the, Jessica the Sturvis. Jessica Sturvis? Yeah, the one and only Jessica Sturvis. Her sister is Ashley Sturvis, who graduated last year. Yeah, the Jessica Sturvis that people use their hands to model her anatomy with when they say your name. What? Wait, what? That people People use their hands to model her anatomy when they say your name. That Jessica Sturvis. Oh, yeah. Like Jessica Sturvis. Okay, now I caught up. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, was, okay, English class last week. You know what she did? Wrote we had a poem. To write, we had that Shakespeare unit. And we had to write Wrote a little a one page play. She recited play. a sonnet. She read yours in class. She read, right. my, she read my what? The one you wrote, the play you wrote. She, she read my chose, whole play? What the one we had to write a one page or one or one page scene? Did you write a one page scene? I wrote a whole play. She read it. It took several. You read days. my whole play. And she, and she. It was what's the word when you do something intentionally that you wouldn't normally do? Uh, did uh, screwed it up. Uh, like, hey, this will be funny if I do this really dumb thing. So tanked it. The tight what tank like tanked it? She like, did it. She read it bad on purpose, and everyone laughed. I spent a lot of time working on that play, man. Everybody laughed. I spent a lot of time working on that play. Everybody. I don't know what you did to her. I don't know why you think she. Oh, I'm gonna punch Jessica Sturgis's locker again. I, I don't know if you were not a gentleman to her. I don't know if at the last game you were. Staring at the cheerleaders? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, true confession time. I've never actually spoken to Jessica Sturvis ever. What? Yeah. I made up all that stuff about how she and I went out to make out Point and make out Grove and also make out Lake. I made all that stuff up. That's why she did it. That's why she did it. Now well, how does she know? Dang it. Where he got back to her. Where he got back to her. Coach made me write that play. He met, like I didn't want to write it. Coach was like, "You need to write this play, or you're not going to state." And also, it needs to include X number of characters. He made you write a whole play. Yeah, we really wrote a whole play. It took three days for her to get through it all. Yeah, it's a long play. It's a five act play. We were laughing at it. We were laughing. What? At it. Dude, how did you not tell me this? I didn't want to. This no week. one would. It would destroy you. It has destroyed me. Man, I felt really good about that play. And I was like, maybe I'll be a playwright someday. It was just, it was clear that the star-crossed lovers had never been like in love with anybody. It was just very like. Uh, Just, yeah, that's the point. It's you know, supposed to show the ignorance of youth and of people who get lost in love. Well, it didn't read that way. Okay, well, thank you for the feedback. Jeez. It just read like eight-year-olds pretending to be adults. That's what it read like. Okay, well, it's the second draft, man. Like, I need some more time to work it out. Or not do it and forget about it. Move on with your life. That's an well, option. I'm not forgetting about that play. I sunk a lot of time into that play. You know, I mean, creating a whole backstory and a whole bunch of world building. What? Yeah. So all that stuff where it's like the apocalyptic future. Yeah. And they hole up inside that old Civil War fort and turn it yeah. into the model society. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, I spent a week researching Civil War forts so that I know how they were designed and I could fully embody that. And 
I spent a whole month researching post-apocalyptic scenarios so I could figure out exactly what would happen in the future, depending on which post-apocalyptic scenario went on. I haven't gotten around to the characters yet. Look, that part was cool. Well, thank you. How they turned the whole inside into like a farm. I'll be honest, I originally envisioned it a little more like a Mad Max sort of thing, but Coach was like, no, you need to have a love interest. And I was like, okay, fine. So I included a love interest and that's kind of shoehorned in there. We are late for class, but we're football players. So it doesn't oh, Jessica Stern has ruined my entire ability to be a playwright. I'll never move to New York now. I'll have to be stuck going to stupid Ohio State and becoming a star quarterback. Ugh, hey, maybe you'll get drafted by the Jets. Oh, I don't want to be drafted by the Jets. Damn it. I'll do four seasons and I'll blow up my knee and then I'll, that's all I'll do for the rest of my life and then I'll open a chicken wing place. That's not so bad. I mean, that's not so bad. Ugh. You do you do your rookie contract right and you're 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 set. You know, you just manage it right. Okay, what if I like seriously injure myself in my freshman year and then I can maybe take that time to like start working on the play and then I have a really great like backstory for how I became a playwright. Wow, a play within a play. Yeah. I had a play about a football player. Oh my god. Oh geez. Is that too hackney? It feels a little cliche. I've never heard of a play about a football player. Have you? Really? Well, I mean, it just it's the opposite of like, cliche. It's original. Oh, holy crap. Did I find an original idea? Because that play is all cliches. The ones that Jessica Sturvis wrote, or that I wrote, that she read. Yeah, it was, yeah. Hey, man, I was just say thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, I got to get to driver's ed, because today's the day we're taking the cars out. Are you going to driver's ed or are you going to the library to write your play? I got to go to driver's ed because we're taking the cars out today, but I'm. Uh... Okay, T. I go to driver's ed. Yeah. Hey, I'll see you at practice. Yeah. Because you're taking the cars out. Tell coach, driver's ed coach. I said, hey. Yeah. Okay. I will. I won't ask him if you were in class or not. Okay. Hey, thanks, bro. Take Good care. looking out. Yeah. Hey. Bring it up top. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you go back for a little go back? That was weird. Where have you been? Where have you been? I don't want to. I don't want to. Where have you? Wanna. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? 9 45, and work Nicholas? starts at 8 30. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nicholas. 9 45 starts at 8 30. Yeah, what I was does on that, bus. I was on does, a bus. What does that make you? It makes me late. Yeah, very late. I was on a bus. I couldn't call because we were stuck in a tunnel. I was I was worried sick. I started checking the news. Well, you probably saw that there's a bus caught in a tunnel. I didn't see anything about a bus caught in a tunnel because I was just scanning the news looking for stories about somebody who got murdered. Are you my mom or my boss? I mean, look, well, I'm your boss, but I could be your mom. I'm worried about it. we, you know what? You're this is mm, how long have you been here? A year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half, a whole year and a half. You don't look, think I, I, I care I about you? To, I didn't ask to work here. You don't I think didn't I ask care to work about, here? Okay, you don't think I care about you in a whole year and a half? I just I hire anybody. Look, you just, you just, you don't get what it's like to be, to just work in a cube, okay? Oh, you got a corner office. I don't. You don't I understand. never worked in a cube, is what you're saying. I never worked in a cube. You know, when, when I had been at the company as long as you had been at the company, you know, I respected the people who were my managers. I respected them. And you walked upstairs both ways. Yeah, your fool. yeah, I did. I, I don't appreciate this tone. I don't appreciate this tone coming from you. Can I just go to my cubicle now, please? Well, Can I, I don't know. And Can work? you go to your cubicle? Can you go to your cubicle? May, may I go to my cubicle? You know, may when, I go to my cubicle? when we had that pizza party and I said, we're family here, I thought you understood that I meant we are family here. <sighs> I just 
ah, you don't get it. Oh, I don't get it. I'm going to my cube. Okay, fine. Go to your cube. And I hope you didn't go through my stuff in my cube. Why would I go through your stuff? There's nothing in there. How would you know if you haven't been going through it? Nicholas, are you smoking the weed? Don't you get back here. What? what? Are you smoking the weed? Not in the office. It's legal now. Not, not at your age. No, it is not. Have you been hanging out with those marketing guys, haven't you? Oh, I knew it. I knew they were. They're bad news. Uh, a, they're cool. B, they've got a custom van. <laughs> okay. The way they come in. I have a product. How would you like to buy? You know what? If they were selling a product and people bought it, would you buy it too if everyone else was buying it? They're marketing. Yeah. It means they did a good job of marketing it. I expect you to be, a, you're, we are in IT support. I expect you to be a little more sharp on that. Okay, uh, when's lunch break? Uh, it's at 12.15, as it always is. Okay, uh, I'll see you at lunch. Great. I've got work to do. I'll see you at lunch, and you better not slam your little cubicle slider. I won't. Okay, I love you. Nicholas. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? I love you, Nicholas. I, did you just say you love me? Yes. Do I need to call HR? Well, I don't know, do you? you? You just don't tell employees you love them. I didn't say I wanted to have sex with you. I said, I love you, Nicholas. I'm calling HR. Okay, fine. I'm calling HR. All right. Don't walk away angry. Yay! <laughs> uh, give a hand for Wee Robot. Uh, Bill, Chris, do you have any upcoming things you'd like to promote, share, brag about? Uh, well, we're both teaching a workshop this weekend. Um, which if you know if you have not signed up for it, you're interested in. I believe there are spots in both of them, so sure. do that. Uh, I'm with the Chicago Improv Studio. We're going to jam on Thursday nights, uh, eight o'clock Central Time. You can find information on Facebook or email me at Chicago Improv Studio dot Chicago Improv Studio at gmail dot com. <laughs> awesome. I think that's all the plugs. Yeah, I think that's. I can't think of anything else to plug. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. You, you don't need a lot, but you shared is valuable. Thank you both. One more time for we robot. Thank you. Thank you.